Because we're in the gaming week, we're back on agriculture to do a bit more on that on the Series X. Well, after Friday, you got a new best ever week and new record, as you can see there. A brand new record, yet again, 2392. 880 days, just under 1.34, uh, 1.54 million, sorry. Just over 16k for the month itself, considering we're only on the second week, that's pretty good. And 402k for the year. So recycling, nice and easy. It's been a warm week, there's a lot of stuff cardboard. And that's that done. Agriculture, quite a lot of work on the Xbox version as you can see. All done and the seamen in this game. The last level took 7 minutes and 42 seconds, which is quite a lot when you're building stuff. But yep, yeah, in terms of the gamer score, we are within 9,000 now of the 900k. There's nothing special planned for it, just to get the 900k by the end of at least this month. So, three days into the week, and you can see record number two of the week 2394, 1.543 million, 998, just that little bit off 1.544. 160 now over the second row, 20k for the month already, and we're only 13 days into it. There's a lot longer left in this month. And 407k for the year. So next on the game is one that we bought a couple of weeks back. It's Pseudo Cats. After going a long time without a best ever week, we've now got two in a row. Quite significantly different as well. Has been a weird week for conundrums, but I don't think we've had one really go all the way properly. We had a couple close. Three records for the week in the Monday, Wednesday and Friday. 11,732 is a new best and also a very unique one in the, in the Tuesday, Friday. They're exactly the same. When you take Monday off both weeks, the other four days has up to exactly the same number. I've never seen that before. 160 on the third row now, so we completed next week. 177 weeks, 884 days. Just under 1.55 million, 412k for the year, and also 25,000 for the month itself, and we're not even halfway through yet. So 50k is definitely doable this month. Well, with the CDs XR box version done, Agriculture continues on the Windows version. So it's DW Friday, nothing before and nothing after tonight. Do you want to tonight as well? 665 overall, 570 for Wheeling Castle with we've seen him. There's a record 20th home game against Castleford. We've seen nobody here more than them. 19 wins, 11 losses, 6 game winners, 2, two consecutive wins. There's a whole back the last, well, last weekend. And it is now every single possible Wigan home game in 2023 for the men's team. Put it up for record attendance in 2023. So far, so, so, far, so good. Half time, Wigan 22. Well, it's an RPA Sunday, potentially the penultimate one because it is the reserves grand final on the 1st of October. But depending on what happens today, we might be back here next week, you never know. It is Warrington Academy, 666, ooh, bad number overall, 574 for Wigan. It's a very intriguing statistic that we played Warrington's Academy nine times and won nine times, so we've never lost. It's the only unbeaten record above five games I've got. Hopefully that doesn't be a change today. It is the longest current winning streak at nine games in a row. Previous one before that was Catalans before last. One we lost earlier in the year. There's 83rd Academy overall, which means no matter what, grand final or not, we can't get to 85 before the end of the season. We'll have three consecutive wins after last week, Friday. And it's as always with every game this year. It's a record attendance, 105. The goal at the moment is to probably end the year in about 110, 112. Something that will probably never be beaten, but we said that last year when we got to 90. So, half time RPA, all square, Wigan 12, Warrington 12. So, full time here at RPA, it's certainly not Warrington here. Wigan Academy 18, Warrington 12. Grand final will be next week. More than likely, it'll be the Sunday, same time, but they're still playing, so we don't know yet. Yeah. 